Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing a numerical on Porter Governors. Let's see the numerical. In this numerical, we are given the length of the arms. And the question says the length of both the arms is 250 mm. The mass of fly ball is 5 kg that is given. And the mass of the sleeve is given as 50 kg. Now, whenever you are given a question, it is very necessary to write all the given data first, right? Now, and we are also given the frictional force, which is 45 Newton. What we have to calculate, we have to calculate the range of the speed for extreme radii of 120 mm and 150 mm of rotation. Now, what is different that is in the question, it is that the upper and lower arms, they are pivoted to lengths of 40 mm and 50 mm respectively from the axis of rotation. Here we can see that the upper link it is pivoted at a distance of 40 mm from the axis of rotation, lower link at a distance of 45 mm from the axis of rotation. We are solving this question for case 1 where radius of rotation given is 120 mm. Now we already know the formula to calculate the value of angular velocity omega which will eventually give us the value for n which is the speed right so in this formula if you look what are the unknown variables the unknown variable is theta what is theta theta is the angle made by the upper arm with the vertical right and the unknown is k k is a factor which is 10 beta upon 10 theta and beta is the angle which the lower arm makes with the vertical so i need to calculate these three values 10 theta 10 beta and k so firstly, we'll find the value of this angle theta. If you look in this triangle x, right? So in this triangle ACX, if you want to find the value of sine theta, it is this, which is 120 minus 40 upon 250. You'll calculate the value of theta by doing sine inverse. You'll put the value on 10 theta and you will get the value of 10 theta is 0.337. Similarly, for this triangle AXB, you will calculate the value of beta in the same manner which is 120 minus 45 upon 250. You will get the value of beta. You put 10 beta and you will get the answer. So you can calculate the value of k which is 10 beta upon 10 theta and comes out to be 0.93. You place the values all the given data in the formula calculated. What we are getting here is omega square. Right? We'll do root and we'll get the value of omega which is 16.4. Now we know omega is 2 pi n upon 60. You place the values and you'll get the value of n minimum which is 157 rpm. Now the question arises that when we started the formula, we were given two things mg minus f and mg plus f. So how we decided that in this part we have to do mg minus f. Now see what happens when radius decreases ball moves downward right it is when the load is increasing and the speed also decreases so when speed is decreasing and the ball is moving downward what is happening ball or and the central load it is moving downward the frictional force it is working opposite to the direction of motion so when motion is in downward direction frictional force will act in the upward direction which will be opposite to the direction of weight applied which will always be vertically downward so this becomes mg minus f now here you can see for the maximum radius which is given 150 mm in this question what happens the ball moves upward and the force of friction it acts downward so force of friction acts downward that means it acts in the direction of the weight of the load the central load so this formula changes to mg plus f rest all the formula remains the same Okay, now because the radius is different, the value of theta and beta will also differ. Similarly, we did for the first part, we'll make a construction. We'll assume that this is a triangle, right? And in this triangle, you can calculate the value of theta. From this triangle, you can calculate the value of beta. Put it in the formula, you'll get the value for k. You put it in this equation and you'll get the value of n max which is 182.9 rp now the question is asking about the range 
What is the range? It is maximum speed minus minimum speed. You subtract both the values and you get the answer which is 25.9 RPM. Thank you.